Hello, everyone, and welcome to our summer reading event. My name is Miss Natasha, and I'll be your host today. This year, the summer reading program is both in person and online, and we've got great activities and events just like this one planned all summer long. To join in on the fun, you need to do a few things. Sign up for your library card at ocls.info slash get your card. Join Beanstack by creating an account at ocls.beanstack.org and register to attend our events. This year, we are challenging you to read 20 minutes every single day this summer and to keep track of your minutes by logging them into Beanstack or using a paper reading tracker. You can pick those up at any of our branch locations. What's really awesome and cool is those who have read 300 minutes can get a goodie bag filled with fun things. That is while su supplies last. And if you complete the challenge and read for a total of 600 minutes by Saturday, July 23rd, you'll be entered into a grand prize drawing. For more information about our summer reading program, our events calendar, and book recommendations, visit our website at ocls.info SRP. Now, our presenter today will have some sing-along tunes and original music to sing to and to share with us. Let's give Mr. Richard a warm OCLS welcome. Hello and welcome, Mr. Richard. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Miss Natasha. Hello, everybody. Are you ready to get started? I'm all good, ready to go. Got my guitar, so. All right, hi everyone. My name is Richard, if we never met before. And this is my old guitar. You can see it's well loved. I put an extra hole in it because I play it so much. So I always like to start off uh, a show or any kind of presentation with a song called the Hey Hey Song. It's just kind of a, hey, how you doing? Nice to see you out and about kind of tune. It goes like this. Hey, hey, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? Hey, hey, everybody. I'm doing great. How about you? Hang out with me and we'll sing a song. You make the day bright as we roll along. Hey, hey, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? Okay, that's how it goes, the hey, hey song. Hey, hey, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? I'm playing the guitar, right? But I want you to play this instrument. Can you clap that beat like that? Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on, everybody. Now you're part of the band. Clap your hands. Now we're keeping time. Keep it coming. Now you're doing fine. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Good. All right. Now, you have another instrument that you can use, your foot. Hear that? Same beat I'm stomping on my floor. Ready? Say, say, everybody, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Say, say, everybody, now that's a steady beat. All of our friends are coming through that door when they hear us stomping on the floor. Say, say, everybody, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Okay, now, whoever you're with, look at them, turn to them, and wave, hey, say, hey. Say happy Thursday, right? All right, now, the last part we're going to sing, hey, hey, everybody, how do you do, how do you do? You clap and stomp like you were doing to keep the beat, and I will play the guitar. Ready? Hey, hey, everybody, how do you do, how do you do? Hey, hey, everybody, doing great, how about you? Hang out with me and we'll sing a song. Make the day bright as we roll along. Hey, hey, everybody, how do you do? How do you do? Hey, hey, everybody, how do you do? How do you do? Okay, you, you know how to give yourself a hand? It doesn't mean like this, it means like this. Clap for yourself, okay? All right, let's see. Let me scoot over a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so my name is Richard. I play all around for uh, short people uh, and their moms and dads who bring them to see me. So you may know some of these songs. I thought next we should do um, one that uh, boys especially like. It's about the garbage man and his stinky truck. All right, so um, if you've seen me do this before, just be patient. I need to explain what we're going to do to any of the new people. Okay, so we're going to make garbage trucks. It's about the garbage man, but we're going to 
act like we're the trucks. You know how the trucks here where we live have those arms that come down and grab the trash bin and then throw it in the back of the truck and then put it down and go to the next house? We're going to do that with our arms, okay? So if you take your arms like this and make a circle, all right, that's going to be the trash bin inside there. So all the smelly trash is right there. It's pretty bad, so we want to throw it away. So take your garbage bin and throw it away behind you like this. Go up, up, up goes the garbage bin all the way back and dump it out in the big truck back there behind you. And when we do that, we're going to sing this. Up, up, up goes the garbage bin. Okay? And once your garbage can is empty, the garbage man likes to slam it on the street and wake you up, right? So take it and go boom, boom. Slam it down. Go boom, boom. And use your outdoor voices. I know this is a library program. But go boom, boom. Slamming it down again. Then, you ever watch the garbage truck smush the trash? The sides come in like this and go mm, smush it, just like on Star Wars. So take your hands wide like this and go crush, crush, smushing the trash all down so that we make room for more. And that part, we're going to sing this. Crush, crush, smushing the trash all down. So we have three things we have to do in this song. I think you can remember up, up with your trash can. And then boom, boom, slam it down again. And then crush, crush. So up, up, boom, boom, crush, crush. Let's do, um, let's practice with the guitar. <clears throat> so we'll know what to do. This is called rehearsal. When people who play music get together and practice, they call it rehearsal. All right, so make your circle first. We'll go up, up. Ready? One, two, three. Up, up. Up goes the garbage bin. Boom, boom. Slamming it down again. Crush, crush. Smushing the trash all down. Okay, you got it. Now, I'm going to sing some words. The verse. You be ready to throw away the garbage when I tell you. Okay? I'm standing on the couch, look down out at the street. I hear the crashing boom, and it sounds so sweet. He's almost at my house now, I'm jumping again. Here he comes, it's the garbage man. All right, there he is. Grab your trash can, ready, go. Up, up, up goes the garbage man. Boom, boom, slamming it down again. Crush, crush. Smushing the trash all down, the garbage man's gotta have the best job in town. I jump down, run around, open the door. His truck is so loud, like a dinosaur. He works the arm and grabs like a giant hand. Mom says, come back here, but it's the garbage man. Now he's in our house. Ready, go. Up, up, up goes the garbage man. Boom, boom, slamming it down again. Crush, crush, smushing the trash all down. The garbage man's gotta have the best job in town. The garbage man only works two days a week. Gets to go fishing on the days in between. Or maybe to the pool, working on his tan. Someday I'll be a garbage man. All right, there he goes. Let's do it one more time. Go, up, up. Up goes the garbage man. Slamming it down. Smushing the trash all down, the garbage man's gotta have the best job in town. The garbage man only works two days a week, gets to watch movies all the days in between. He always says hello with a wave of his hand. Someday I'll be a garbage man. Someday I'll be a garbage man. Someday I'll be the garbage man. Okay, good. Now dust off your hands like this. After you take out the trash, you should always <clears throat> practice good hygiene. Keep your hands clean of germs and whatnot. All right, good. Let's see. Um, speaking of germs, we're going to sing a song about, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a counting song. It concerns germs. Can you count to five? That's easy, right? One, two, three, four, five. You can probably count to a hundred or something. We're just going to stick with five. And since it's a song, we're going to sing the numbers like this. One, two, three, four, five. Can you sing that? One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Do this. Take your hand and close all your fingers up like I'm doing. Okay? Now, make a finger pop out for each number that you sing like this. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Okay? Try it again. Uh, this time, close them up. And we'll try it with the uh, guitar. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Good. Okay. So this song is about when you're eating something really delicious, but you drop it on the floor. 
you now have five seconds before the germs get on it. Everyone knows the five second rule. If you can get it in one or two, great. But when you get to four and five, you're pushing it. Mm -hmm. And after five, you gotta let it, let it lie, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's, after we sing one, two, three, four, five, we're gonna sing the five second rule applies. The five second rule applies, okay. Okay, close up your fingers like we did. Be ready to count when I tell you. I dropped my last cookie on the floor. What to do? There are no more. But I can invoke a point of law. Which function's best if no one saw? Here's what we count. Ready? Right? One, two, three, four, five. The five second rule applies. Brush it up and close your eyes. The five second rule applies. Good, okay. Close your fingers back up now so you'll be ready to count uh, next time. My pizza slice landed right side up. If I can just grab fast enough, I count out loud one, two, three, four, and hope it doesn't taste like floor. It'll break one, two, three, four, five. The five second rule applies. Stuff it in and close your eyes. Five second rule applies. Germs on the ground are slow to act, and that's a scientific fact. You gotta be quicker than my pooch. She's a professional scarfing mooch. All right, I'm just gonna bring on my guitar like a drum. Ready, count. One, two, three, four, five. The five second rule applies. Again, one, two, three, four, five. The five second rule applies. Dust it up and close your eyes. The five second rule applies. Five second rule applies. Five second rule applies. Okay. Nice count. Do this now, rub your tummy, because food off the floor is yummy, right? Okay, hey, I want to show you, um, <clears throat> I have another instrument that I didn't, you couldn't see because it was in this little box right here. Anybody know what could be in that little box that makes music? I'll show you. I bet you maybe have one of these. Who's got one of these? Hmm? Well, that's called a harmonica. And you know, this one, it has little holes in the front. And you blow air in and out uh, with your lungs, the wind you make in your lungs, and make a song. Like that. You hold it in your hand, or both hands. Now, I've got a little tool here I'm going to use in this next song. This is called a harmonica holder. And it's going to hold the harmonica for me real tight. It's going to grip it just like my hand would. See, now it's holding it for me. And I don't have to hold my hand. Use my hand. I put this around my neck, tighten up the screw on the side right here. And now the harmonica just stays in front of my face. Watch. No hands. See? That way, my hands are free to play the guitar at the same time. So we'll have two instruments. Listen. See? Now we're going to make a third instrument that you have with you right here in your throat called your voice okay that's what you sing with i want to use your singing voice instrument and say choo choo like that do it choo choo okay guess what we're going to sing about the choo choo train and i'm a harmonica makes a pretty good choo choo so i'm going to back you up listen like that all right so let's get organized you're the conductor in the train so reach up and grab this rope here and when i count to three we're going to pull down the rope like this and make it go choo-choo and get the train started down the track, okay? All right, so grab the rope. Got it? Ready? One, two, three. Good. Now you know how to make a pretend train. Just put your fist in front of yourself like this together and then bend them together like this. Bend your arms at the same time like that. Like an old timey train. Like Thomas the Tank, okay? Now the train starts off slow like this because it's big and heavy. You've been on the train before. It has to start off real slow. The train is pulling out and it isn't going back. 
Leaving west, I slip on the eastbound track. I spent the day in the city at a birthday bash. Ice cream, cake, and candy, and pinatas we can smash. Head it toward home because tomorrow I got school. I got them all. I would wear a road blue. Okay, go a little faster now. Here comes the man in blue. Tickets, 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 please. That's what he's gotta do. That was the best birthday party, and I wanted to stay late. I didn't wanna leave because there was still a lot of cake. I didn't do my homework. Tomorrow I got school. I got them all. I want Island Railroad Blue. Long Island Railroad gonna take me back. Clack, clack, chugga, choo choo down that long, long track. Smoke is up, 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 and up the chimney stack. Long Island Railroad gonna take me back. Okay, I'm gonna play some music on the harmonica, and you keep chugging on your train. lots of books. I got lots of books here. These are my books. Um, and I hope you check some books out while you're uh, spending, uh, let's spend your whole summer watching TV. Okay. You should check out some books and all books have stories in them, right? Sometimes they're just little tiny short stories. And sometimes they're real big fat ones. Like there's a big fat one there, right? So songs tell stories too. Uh, they're also pretty short stories. This one tells a story. By a little baby bird named Bobo. He's a blue jay bird, like you might see in your backyard. And but Bobo's just a little baby, you know, I say he's about that big, okay, just a little tiny, fuzzy, bald-headed baby with big eyes. And he can't fly because he's a baby, right? But Bobo wants to fly so much, he keeps trying to jump out of the nest, which isn't a good idea because he's a baby. Right? So his mother has to keep her eye on him all the time. I mean, she sees him trying to jump. She sings this little song again. 
Oh no, Bobo Bird, you better get back in the nest. Oh no, Bobo Bird, you can't go out half dressed. Because the birds gotta have all their feathers before they start to fly, right? Just like you gotta wear clothes when you go to school or go out to the store. The birds gotta throw all their feathers. So we're gonna help Bobo's mother. You know how to scold a baby, right? A naughty baby. You hold up one funny finger, you shake it at the baby. So pretend Bobo is on the little little Bobo is on a limb right there in your backyard. We can sing to him. We're gonna sing, Oh no, Bobo bird, you better get back in the nest. And then you say, Oh no, Bobo bird, you can't go out half dressed, okay? Right, let's practice it together. All right, get your scoldy finger ready. Oh no, Bobo Bird, you better get back in the nest. Oh no, Bobo Bird, you can't go out half dressed. Good. Now, I will sing the story part next. And you be ready to help me scold Bobo whenever he misbehaves, okay? Bobo is a baby jay and he just won't be still. His mother brings him worms and bugs, but he goes unfulfilled. Hanging out on the side of the nest is what he always does. Bobo wants to fly about, but he's just covered in fuzz. Okay, ready? Oh no, Bobo bird, you better get back in the nest. Oh no, Bobo bird, you can't go out half dressed. I was shaking my head, you can do that too. Bobo, he won't listen, and he hops on down the limb. All of the birds in the big oak tree begin to laugh at him. Hey, Bobo, what have you got on? Are those your fuzzy drawers? You better go back home, or you'll be the neighborhood eyesore. Ready? Oh, no, Bobo, bird, you better get back in the nest. Tell him, oh, no, Bobo, bird, you can't go out and dress. I told you he was kind of naughty. Bobo pops him down the branch and hops off at the end. His little wings go flippy flap as he starts to descend. Down, down, down goes Bobo J. He's in for quite a smack. Oh no, just in time his mom swoops by to catch a big back. Ooh, his mom caught him in the nick of time. Take your hand like this. That was close. Ready? Oh no, Bobo Bird, you better get back in the nest. Oh no, Bobo Bird, you can't go out half dressed. Good thing his mom was paying attention, right? Bobo J, you best behave and stop all this nonsense. You'll hurt yourself. And without your clothes, some birds will take offense. Soon enough, you'll be grown up with feathers white and blue. You'll fly around all by yourself, I'll be so proud of you. Ready? Oh no, Bobo Bird, you better get back in the nest. Oh no, Bobo Bird, you can't go out half dressed. Okay, that's the story of Bobo, his mom caught him in the nick of time. But um, let's sing it one more time. This time, see if you can find someone you know who's being a Bobo right now. Like maybe your brother or your sister or your cousin or maybe your mom. Find somebody who's being a Bobo. Maybe your dog would be good too. Sing the song to them. Ready? Oh no, Bobo Bird, you better get back in the nest. Oh no, Bobo Bird, you can't go out and dress. Okay, that's the story of Bobo. <coughs> See, it was a very short story, I told you. Now, excuse me a sec, I'm going to get a little sip of honey. My throat got a little scratchy. Honey's good for the singing voice, if you want. Just if you want to know. All right. Um, next, we're going to sing a song. <clears throat> I guess it kind of tells a story, too, although I apologize. It's kind of a silly story. This is a, this song is called Milkshake Millie, and it's about a cow um, in, in, who doesn't give milk. She gives milkshakes, okay, which would be pretty cool. If it, you know, now, if you know what cows say, what? Moo. You can sing along on this song because there's one part where we all have to go moo. Easy enough, right? All right. Our cow Millie got caught in the snow. She spent the whole night out in 20 below in the morning. 
morning she was back at the barn, shaking and jumping just to keep herself warm. My dad hitched her up to the milking machine, but she didn't give milk and she didn't give cream. Millie gave us milkshakes to our surprise, nutty bars, bush ups, and Eskimo pies. Milkshake Millie is our ice cream cow, we don't know why she does it and we don't ask how. Now Millie lives in her own igloo, and every day she does the milkshake boo. Every day she does the milkshake boo. Here's where we move, ready? Milkshake boo. Of course, all my friends had to come around and see. Millie gave me sundaes and cherry slurpees. Fudge sickles, popsicles, snow cones too. Milkshake Millie did the milkshake boo. Milkshake Millie is our ice cream cow. We don't know why she does it and we don't ask how. Now Millie lives in her own igloo. And every day she does a milkshake boo. Every day she does a milkshake boo. Now here's where we boo. Ready? Boo. Boo. Milkshake boo. Milkshake Millie is our ice cream cow. We don't know why she does it and we don't ask how. Now Millie lives in her own igloo. And every day she does a milkshake boo. Every day she does a milkshake boo. All right, one more time, ready? Boo, boo, boo. Milkshake boo. All right, I told you it was silly. Hey, you can listen to any of my silly songs on Spotify if you want to. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, Speaking of the library, if you want to see me in person, I will be at the Southwest Branch Library in Dr. Phillips on Friday, July 29th at 11 a.m. And the next day, Saturday, July 30, I will be at the Chickasaw Branch. So if you want to come, uh, that's at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Those are both in the summer uh, reading celebration. So you got time to get your 20 minutes a day in. 20 minutes is, is only, that's not even as long as a TV show, so that's pretty easy. It adds up pretty quick if you do it every day. All right, so let's see. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to get my harmonica again. I have a song about when your dog kisses you in the face for this dog breath. All right, this is called Pooch Smooch. And um, I'm not going to do a choo choo whistle. This time it's just for a little musical flavor so I can play two instruments. All right. Um, that's my dog Molly. Oh, here she's over here. That's my dog Molly's picture right there. And this is easy. Every time we sing pooch smooch, make a yucky face go, yeah, like a big dog just kissed you in the face. I tell you what, this is a dancing song too. So if you, wherever you are, if you've got room to dance, you may want to move some chairs out of the way. Uh, we'll do uh, we'll do this and the next few dancing songs too. Okay. All right, ready? Scratch and fetch and dig on the fence. He likes to eat and sleep and use his nose to detect sense. But when he wants to show his love, his only option is this. He's gonna get right in your face and give a poochy kiss. Pooch smooch. Too. Pooch smooch. Yeah. You gotta grin and bear it, cause your dog has gotta share it. Pooch smooch. Talk, he can't borrow the family car and drive it to the flower shop. That would be bizarre. He can't send your Valentine. His only option is this. He's gonna say he loves you with a big wet sloppy kiss. Pooch smooch. Yeah. Pooch smooch. Yeah. Touch your face up in time. Confusal would be in my life. Pooch smooch. Your doggy was a puppy and his puppy bread was sweet. Now his grown up dog bread just might knock you off your feet. But if you got a scratch, you straight to just be like this. Nothing makes a boo boo better than a doggy kiss pooch smooch. <laughs> pooch smooch. Shut your face and close your eyes and how your doggy testifies pooch smooch.
Okay. You should probably um, wipe the dog kisses off your face. Max, yes, it's gross. All right. I'm going to wipe my dog kisses off that. All right. Now, hey, let's do <clears throat> We got time for one more song, and we'll make it another dancing song if you want. Um, this one is, is uh, called Airplane Jane, and it's actually it's about a real person who actually works at the library. Her name's Jane, and she's a, a not only is she a librarian, she is a airplane pilot. She knows how to drive an airplane. So this song is one I made up for her. And you can do this. You can put your arms out and make airplane wings if you've got room to fly around your airport there. Or you can just be in a dancing airplane and dance in place, all right? Airplane Jane with no last name. She flies so high up in the sky. She waves the birds, she passes by. Airplane Jane with no last name. Jane was just a little girl. She liked the things above the world. The sky, the trees, the birds, the sun. Jane sure loved them everyone. Airplane Jane with no last name. She flies so high up in the sky. She waves the birds, she passes by. Airplane Jane with no last name. Scarf and goggles and a map. She got an airplane that was blue with red propellers one and two. Airplane Jane with her last name. She flies so high up in the sky. She waves the birds, she passes by. Airplane Jane with her last name. Well, Jane never really wanted. Pretty rhythms to hold up her tresses. All she wants is just to lie high and free. With the wind in her face, just like the buffalo. Kids on the ground are playing ball. Jane has not done that at all. Her little airplane spiders fly. Jane's at home up in the sky. Airplane Jane is her last name. She flies so high up in the sky. She waves the bird, she passes by. Airplane Jane is her last name. Right, we'll sing it one more time. Airplane Jane is her last name. So high up in the sky, she waves the birds, she passes by. Airplane Jane, the last day. All right, that's for Jane and for you too. Thank you for tuning in. And singing along and dancing. I hope you're dancing. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Richard. That was so much fun. I was dancing here in the background as okay. well. <laughs> um, I've actually never seen a harmonica tool, so I thought that was really interesting. It sounded really great together with your guitar performance. Oh. <laughs> so now we're going to move into our Q&A session, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments, and I'll read them out to Mr. Richard. Oh, look, looks like our first question came in. Um, when did you first learn how to play guitar? Um, I was 14, so a little old than people do nowadays, but um, I wanted to play the drums. Uh, I like I the drums. I liked how a drummer uses both his arms and both his legs, both his feet, and use, I thought that was, it's kind of like swimming, you use all your muscles. Uh, but my mother, uh, said no way not in her house all that you know you have to be a pretty patient mom to let you learn the drums because they're pretty loud so she got me a guitar instead not this one although it looks pretty old um she got me a guitar instead and I, she knew i wanted to play music so i just said sure guitar why not so 
<laughs> All right, a second question came in. How many instruments do you play and how many can you play at the same time? <laughs> that was about the extent. Two is about it. Unless you count stomping foot, then like three, I guess, and sing. Maybe that makes four. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, but I can play the guitar was my first instrument. Mm -hmm. And I can also play the banjo a little bit. Uh, I can play the mandolin, which is another string instrument. It has eight strings. And it's a smaller instrument. About, it's about this big. Uh, and I can also play the ukulele. Ukulele is easy because it's the same. Um, it's the same four strings here as on the guitar. So you do the same spots on your neck. So that one was really easy to pick up after I'd already learned the guitar. Uh, I can play the bass a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't make any claims. No. Seems like you're well versed in strings. <laughs> yeah, I like strings. <laughs> um, we got another question in. It says, Mr. Richard, do you have a YouTube channel? Oh, uh, yes. Um, there's a video on there for um, one of my newer songs called Grown Up Talk. And if they're not on there, you can just look, you can just Google, put it, type in Mr. Richard. There's a there's a video for Airplane Jane that we did, and there's one for a song called Cheese, this kind of cheese, and there's one for Pooch Smooch too. We did that song. Uh, that one's kind of graphic, just so you know. There's lots of kissing in it. It's kind of <laughs> heads up. All right. Do Jane Tracy know about the special song for her? Yes, that's Airplane Jane. Uh, oh. She, uh, her, I don't know about nowadays, but a long time ago, her email address was Airplane Jane. That's where I got the idea. It just kind of came into my head. And uh, after I finished that recording the song, I, I gave her a copy of it. So she, yeah, she knows about it. <laughs> that's sweet. Um, what is your favorite song to play? Uh, of my own, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're all kind of like my children, so I don't want to call one out. But um, I, one of my favorite songs that I do is one I wrote called Treehouse. I like that one a lot. And um, I have one called Shipwreck Kelly that is on my latest CD. That's, I like that one a lot, too. Nice. Okay. And then what is your favorite book? Ferdinand. The bull, you know, who likes to smell the flowers. Yes. <laughs> I, one of my first books I ever got is just my favorite. Because he's just so mellow. I just love how, I love his whole attitude. He takes it easy, Ferdinand. All right. Oh, what is your favorite song to perform? I think we. Yeah. Oh, this time I'll say Pooch Smooch. <laughs> I mean, that one was a lot of fun, so. <laughs> Kids really like um, the Garbage Man song and the uh, Bobo Burr. That's why I did those because they're kind of favorites. Um, so when you write a song and play it for people, you better like it because if they end up liking it, you're going to be playing it a lot. <laughs> One thing, if you write a book, you can just say, okay, I wrote that one book. But when you perform songs, you know, you got to live with them. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> um, we have another question that came in. It says, do you have friends that play music with you? Yes. Um, if you listen to any of my recordings, um, every song, one of my friend Matt is on it. We've been on each other since we were in uh, high school. And he plays lots of instruments. And we, we end up playing um, on my songs. And I have a friend, Mr. Harley, you may have seen him before. He plays the drums when I play. And then I have a good friend named Rachel who sings with me and plays the bass guitar. Uh, so yeah, it's fun. It's, it's more fun to play with your friends. Sometimes you meet with people who you don't really know. And you, music makes you friends. Makes It's easy to make friends with music. So it's conducive to that. So, yeah. All right. If you could play for any audience in the world, who is your first pick? That's a good question. <laughs> oh, kids always. They, uh, they don't care if you blow a note and they, uh, they like to dance. You know, I've played in grown up groups before where 
couple of hours goes by before someone gets up to dance, but not with kids. You know, sometimes the very first tune, they're all up and going. I like that. So they're always my favorites. They don't go on their cell phone either. <laughs> they certainly do have the best energy. Yes. Where did you get your harmonica tool? Uh, probably at Sam Ash at the music store. <laughs> or I bought it online. Um, I, I got a lot of my accessories like that online nowadays because I think Sam Ash may have closed. There's a guitar center, guitar oh. center in Winter Park. They would have one if you need one. My first one I made out of a, a clothes hanger, though. Didn't work too great, but <laughs> it kept flying out. Do you play shows overseas? I never have. No, I played all the way in New York and Connecticut and out in Oregon and Washington. So far from home, but not over the ocean, no. All right. And we have time for one more question. Um, how long does it take you to write a song? <laughs> uh, well, it depends. And anybody who writes songs will tell you they just sort of come from somewhere, like they just come, they just appear. And some of them uh, are already, are all done. And you, it's almost as fast as you can write the words out. It takes 15 minutes. Others, you just get like the idea of a song and write that down. And then you, days, weeks may go by and you finish it. Or you might, if one's really wants out of you, it will, it will come out in an hour or two, you know, depending on, you keep tinkering with it. And um, so some of them very quickly and others are lots of labor. So you get it the way you want. And even then you think, I could have done this, you know. So it depends on the song, really. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for spending some time with us and performing for us and answering some of the questions that came in today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you guys at the library. Yes, we're going to go into that. So guys, go check out more from Mr. Richard at his website at mrrichard.net. If you want to see Mr. Richard in person, you can see him at Southwest on July 29th and our end of summer party at Chickasaw on July 30th. And I want to thank all of you guys at home for joining us today. We have more fun live events planned every Thursday starting at 4 p.m. You don't want to miss next week's show, Teachers of Nature. You can find more information for all of our upcoming events at ocls.info slash SRP. And don't forget to track your reading on Beanstack or Paper Tracker. I am rooting for all of you guys to win some awesome prizes this year. And finally, we'd love to hear any of your feedback of our virtual event. So please complete our survey in English or in Spanish at your convenience. And a big thank you to Window World of Central Florida for sponsoring our summer reading program. And thank you guys for joining us today. Stick around for a sneak peek of the cool prizes that you can win. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.